Now, sadly, recently, it turned out Joe Rogan's Make-A-Wish child, Brendan CTE, I hired a fan only to fire him on Christmas Day, Sharp, is no longer getting his wishes granted from Joe Rogan. And now he must watch a man, a man who admittedly fought off an extra chromosome in the womb, live out his dream. And like always, let's just go over another highlight of Brendan Sharp's embarrassing career and treat him like the pathetic, talentless, pitiful excuse of a comedian he is. And speaking of poor, pitiful comedians, let's look at the current writers of SNL, because I'm, I'm hearing great things. I always pitch something stupid. Like, I remember we went to work on Black History um, Day, um, on Martin Luther King Day. And my pitch was, hey, Aubrey, you are the uh, captain of the Holiday Police Department, and you come and find Lauren Michaels for having all the black people at work on Martin Luther King Day. The office was busting out laughing. Because I go in there, I say what, what everybody want to say. Because I don't give a f you know what I'm saying? I just be having fun. The, the dead silence, as she suggests a uh, great pitch. <laughs> like, man, you, you know what she was probably expecting? Captain of the Holiday Police Department, and you come and find Lauren Michaels for having all the black people at work on Martin Luther King Day. Oh my god, that joke is traumatic to my lungs. Woo! Oh, I'm just a funny girl comedian. Oh, that was not funny. That was not funny. I just put in the work. Oh, stop with the humble bullshit. Yeah, dude, you are her. So yeah, not that funny. You know, black people not working on the day Martin Luther got shot or gave a speech. Whichever one is more important to you, I guess. Well, Brendan Sharp, it's when he got shot, but he's a racist bastard. <laughs> Such a dick move to say that. I'm sorry. She also embarrassed herself on Kill Tony with a top comment. I love it when Tony exposes bad comedians. Now, SNL, given its writers, misses a lot of comedic sketches f for many reasons as well. You know, they're known for stealing jokes. You're writing a sketch. And then one of the head writers would come in in the doorway and go, hey, I see you're writing a sketch about blah, 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 because we have the main server and we check everyone's sketches. I just want to let you know I'm writing the same thing. They're known for sabotaging other comics. Uh, the best is when people try to tank them in the read through. Like you read all of them on Wednesday, a big, huge stack of them. And people will like laugh really, really hard at their own stuff or like roll their eyes it's it's fun to watch Ugh. and any actual talented comedian such as norm the angry man uh gilbert all end up having really negative and bad experiences and often leaving i think even adam sandler so despite everything you have this like ellen degenerate situation behind the scenes oh and they also have like this political message that is often prioritized over the comedy in a really cringy way. I used to host Fear Factor, and now doctors fear me. Can you help me, Joe? Oh, sure thing, Big Bird. You see, I took Carlos Mencia down. I could take COVID. Here's some zinc, and ayahuasca, and some horse medicine. Sam. I'm a human, and I took horse medicine. <laughs> and I'm speaking of things that uh, are horse-like. Uh, today's two sponsors are the letters S and D, as in I can S my own D. Which only got worse during the height of Trump and cancel culture. Oh, and just at that very moment, they hired Shane Gills. Now, as a white person, when you make a racial joke, you have to create a character to kind of push it on. Like, as an example, just to give an idea. You know how if you go to see penguins or anything of that nature, you're not allowed to interfere with them, save them. You have to let nature run its course for better or worse. And that's why the best cameraman for a charity is a racist. Like, hey, don't feed the animals. You gotta let nature run its course. <laughs> you know, it's not the best joke, but I was just trying to find a career suggestion for Brendan Sharp. <laughs> I don't know why I'm obsessed with calling Brendan Sharp racist today. I just can't get over it. But when I first came up with it, I didn't, like, identify, like, the cameraman as someone else. Rather, I just played that part straight away. I, I did it so quickly and naturally, I felt ashamed for, like, a week, <laughs> you know? And that is kind of what Shane Gills did when he imitated and took on the role of how a bigot would kind of jokingly react while in Chinatown. And he may have said the word chink. I mean, it's hard not to, like, offend Asian people. It's so easy to do, you know, like, ooh. And like, oh, <laughs> ooh, you know, racist. You know, like, you could just say anything. Oh, could you get my dinner, please? <laughs> That's not even close. <laughs> That's not even close. 
Yeah, the Asian thing is quite easy to do. You're like, oh, no, 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 no. You're like, oh, oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just thinking about it. All the examples of where you can accidentally be racist to Asians. I don't even know how. You're just doing an accent. I do a Scottish accent, Irish accent. It's like certain accents. It's like, yo, not that one. It's like, why, the, why not, dude? Shut up. So anyway, they ended up dropping him. And while leaving, um, you know, they left his career with a big label of racist bigot. But when you kind of take it all in, it's kind of ironic. That should be the worst moment of Shane Gills' career and life. But in a strange way, it became the best moment as it was this massive turning point. He started to do his own sketches that had, like, good jokes. It had, oh, dude, the acting on the sketches is phenomenal. I don't know what's about Shane Gills, but he can play the retard so well. And he ended up getting into the comedic circle on YouTube and just became, like, a welcomed addition to the YouTube communities. He's a really down-to-earth guy. He's, he's, he's great. But yeah, four years later, SNL is now asking him to be the host on their show. I'm not sure why, whether it's going to be redemption or just a sort of like, oopsie, we're sorry, but it's a good thing overall. And Shane also agreed. Hell yeah. Like, he never really had any resentment about being fired. He even said, hey, there is worse, and I've watched his podcast, and there, there definitely is worse. <laughs> like, whoa. And it, he really had this sort of like, this was always going to happen mentality. And he didn't blame people. He said they're just doing their part. But now he's coming back, some papers are crying about this um, alt-right Nazi becoming so popular or something, but A, it's the Rolling Stones, we've heard their lead editor, so their response is kind of what you would expect. But let's actually just check out other people's responses, actual comedians. I'm so excited for the monologue. Yeah. Right? It's like, what are you going to, like, because there's so asked. many ways you can, at people. you can do it. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. And you know he's going to come. Firing all cylinders. I, mean, I heard he's like, going to go, Welcome to Saturday Night Rive! <laughs> I'm really beginning to love how even Tom is struggling to deal with Bert interrupting him. You know, people are also saying in the comments, Shane Gills is who Bert thinks he is. It's like, kind of true. He's, uh... I told him that you should start with Ching Chong Ping Pong, guess who's back? <laughs> <laughs> And I love Tom's joke here, but at the same time, it's kind of been said all over the internet. And it would be good. I'd be so down for it. So I think like most of us, we're just going to support whatever Shane Gills does. As long as it's funny, it's going to be a win. The worst thing he could do is bomb. And I'm not here to backseat his career personally. But if I did have to have a little choice on what I, Shane Gills did, I would want him to make the sketch of the joke that got him cancelled. Now, Andrew Schultz did have a video on it. And I'm not going to bother showing it to you because all he did was mention all the things Shane could do, which you could imagine in a minute or two. So the whole thing is basically like, I'm kind of hyped for whatever he does. And let's be honest, we all feel the same way. But let's take it back to uh, Brendan, I cheat on my wife, Sharb, and just talk about his dream. Oh, 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 sorry, buddy. <laughs> Yeah, they're like, they just, hell no. They just don't get down. But he'll find, I bet you he finds a place, does a residency, and he's just there like once yeah. a month. He can once go to parts weeks. of the world. Someone said, uh, when, if, would you rather win the Super Bowl, be MVP, yeah. or be on Saturday Night Live? I'd pick Saturday Night Live. <laughs> wow, really? Yeah, I, my mom always gravitated towards me doing, you know, uh, acting and uh, comedy. And, uh, you know, Saturday Night Live was like our North Star. Still is. Still my goal to host like that Saturday young, She was... Now, Shane Gills is uh, living it, and I am so happy. This doesn't even take away from Brendan at this point, but I'm, I'm just glad to see that Shane is getting all this hype, and everything that Brendan wanted, Shane is now getting. A popular show? Shane has that, Brendan. Good, spe good special, man. What did Shane say about Gringo Puppy again? And there's also a load of conspiracy theories that Shane Gills has taken Brendan's spot on Joe Rogan's podcast, Shane. Shane, Shane. And also, you know, Brendan has never headlined the comedy Mothership, but you know who has. <laughs> Shane. <laughs> just, I'm being petty here. I'm just trying to, like, rub it in. I know that somewhere deep down it bothers Brendan. I know it does, and I'm going to push it out there, because he's going to read a comment. Man, Shane is everything Brendan isn't. Or maybe Bert will read a comment. I, I just love the idea that they read the comment, and they're like, oh, so true. <laughs> I want to be the guy that upsets. <laughs> I don't know why. Anyway, I'm going to have to wrap this up. I'm just really busy this week or I just won't finish it this week. And it's coming up on Saturday. So make sure you subscribe because I'll probably do a video on whatever happens on my SNL appearance because damn right I'm going to pirate it. And also it's a, just a useful indicator if I'm going in the right direction. If the jokes are good, should I work on the delivery? I don't know. It, it just helps out in different ways.